Do you know the new strike rules? Now, when you get your first community guidelines strike, there is no penalty except for the video getting removed. What about the second strike? What about the third strike? Let me show you. On February 25th, 2019 is when the new policy takes effect where you will all get a one-time warning for the first content that violates the community guidelines and no penalty to the channel except for the removal of that content. But that's only one time. That doesn't expire like in 90 days you get another warning. No, one time per channel for the lifetime of that channel. Right. Previously, not all strikes had the same penalty on your channel. For example, the first strike on videos would trigger a 90-day freeze on live streaming, and the second strike would result in a two-week freeze on new video uploads. Now, the first strike after your warning, the first strike will result in a one-week freeze on your ability to upload any new content to YouTube, including live streaming and other channel activities and the strike will expire after 90 days or three months, the second strike will result in a two-week freeze. So you can see the pattern. However, the third strike will terminate your channel. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> Bye, Abby. Again, I have to stress, these are only community guideline strikes. There are a separate class of strikes called copyright strikes. So you can get two community guideline strikes and two copyright strikes, a total of four strikes, but your channel isn't terminated because you need to get three strikes in one of the categories to reach that action of termination. Now you don't want to get to two and two, obviously, but just for those of you who are wondering, you need three in one category to get terminated. Community guideline strikes, if you click this link, take you to the YouTube policies section. How can you get a community guideline strike? One of the most um, surprising ways that we found that affects a lot of prank channels is if the people in your video believe they are in danger, that's enough to get a community guideline strike. They don't have to be in danger. You could be showing a toy gun, but if they believe that's a real gun, even for a moment, that's enough to trigger a community guideline strike. So guys, no more prank videos where you put the people into a belief of danger, obviously. Let me show you the quote from YouTube Help if you don't believe me. Dangerous or threatening pranks. Pranks that lead victims to fear imminent physical danger or that create serious emotional distress in minors are not allowed. So no more believing that you're in danger. Come on, do fun pranks like put extra soap into their shower so they never actually get clean because the water's always soapy. That's a fun prank, no danger involved. Also, you cannot do extremely dangerous challenges like detergent eating challenges. I've never actually seen someone try to eat detergent as a challenge, but you get the idea. That also means no jumping off buildings and into swimming pools or other dangerous activities. Otherwise, you risk getting a community guideline strike. Also important is this, spam misleading metadata and scams. Do not put large amounts of untargeted, unwanted, or repetitive content, including comments and private messages in or around your videos. That means no more tag stuffing. Don't put tags in your description. Don't put things that you believe will get you higher search results by gaming the system. That's a definite no-no that will lead to community guideline strikes if YouTube catches you. There is another one that people like to use because they think they'll get more views by impersonation of a popular YouTuber. Do not try to make people believe you are someone else. Of course, parodies are fine, news about PewDiePie is fine, but as soon as you cross the line where you try to imitate a popular YouTuber like PewDiePie so people think you are him, that's impersonation. What if someone publishes your personal information? What can you do? Well, that's the privacy policy. If someone has posted your personal information or uploaded a video of you without your consent, 
you can request removal of content based on our privacy guidelines. And that will result, result in a community guideline strike for the channel who posted your personal content or you without your permission. The link to all this is down there in the description below if you want to read it yourself, as well as the link to this creator blog that officially announces this new copyright strike policy for community guidelines effective February 25th, which is in about five days from now. What do you guys think about all this? Do you like the new policy where you get one warning for free? I think it's a fantastic idea that YouTube implemented this because I believe many people who get their first community guideline strike never do it again. And in fact, in the YouTube Creator blog, they say, statistically, 98% of you never break our community guidelines. And for those of you that get your first strike, 94% of those who do receive a first strike never get a second one. So that means 94% of you will not get actually punished for getting your first community guideline strike if you don't ever get a second one. Do you agree with these statistics? Do you think this is the right move by YouTube? What else can they do to help make the ecosystem healthy and good for good actors? Tell me down there in the comments below what you think as well as share your best practices on where you draw the line of what kind of content you do and don't do. We actually saw a community guideline strike on a skit channel because in one of their videos, the one that got the strike, they were putting people into a perceived danger. So we fought for the channel because we actually thought it wasn't that bad, but YouTube upheld the strike, so be very careful Make sure the content that you upload has no possibility that someone will believe they are in danger in that video. So I hope this is helpful, Freedom Family. As you know, we all help each other grow together as a family. That is the spirit of freedom. So share your best practice, practices and tips down there in the comments below. And what is our mission? Roll it. Freedom is a career path in video, but not just video. Our mission is to help you build your career in this digital world. In game development, click that eye to see how we are doing that in game dev. In music through our Music Factory brand, click that eye to see all about the Music Factory channel. All the music on The George Show has been composed by Music Factory and we've been using it for many years. To use that music, just click the link down there in the description below to go to Music Factory's YouTube channel or website where you can download all the music for free. It's 100% free and safe to use. Why? Because we own it outright. So you'll never get a strike or community guideline even 10 years in the future because my promise to you is we'll never sell the music. We'll never license it to anyone else. That could change the rules. We own it, so we set the rules and the rules are it's 100% safe to use. And we also have a crypto strategy. Did you know? Click that eye to learn about how you can use crypto to create a new revenue stream for you, where you can make money while you're sleeping and your computer is solving math problems while you are dreaming. <laughs> I hope all this helps and I should introduce myself. Who am I? Say it with me. I am your Papa George, your George Sunpie, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom Family, has given me. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom for Freedom and the Freedom Family, where we all help each other grow together as a family. I promised you 15 videos, uh, 12 videos ago, 11 videos ago, here is my playlist of the videos that I created so far for you, Freedom Family, in my 15 video promise. Click that eye to see this playlist and watch any of these in case you missed any. I'll be adding this video to that playlist. So for now we have four, plus this one is five out of 15. How many is that left? Math challenge, skill testing question, 10. <laughs> I'm actually teaching my daughter's math and something like 15 minus 5 is not so trivial for them yet. 
but hopefully it will be soon. Actually, my daughter Avienda is studying Arabic. Today we had a lesson in Arabic, not by me since I can't speak Arabic, but I realized Arabic is a very difficult language. Did you know they have 12 million words? 12 million words. How many does English have? Maybe 600,000? There are 20 times more words in Arabic <laughs> than English. So if you're complaining that the English vocabulary is a little hard to learn all the words, just be glad you're not learning Arabic. Now I'm also told in the Chinese language there are probably as many characters to learn. So if you're learning Chinese, you also have a challenge. Maybe there's even more than 12 million symbols. Uh, if you speak Chinese, correct me down there in the comments below. How many characters are there in the Chinese language for Mandarin uh, or uh, Fukien or uh, what they speak in Hong Kong? What is that? Uh, wow, I, I should know these things. My wife is from Taiwan and she's trying to teach me Chinese and I'm just being a bad student. Bad George, bad George. 我会说一点点中文 uh, so that means I can speak a little bit of Chinese. Woman Bandao Jianada Wode Shurho Wodidi Leosue. I'm sure I butchered that phrase, but that's supposed to say when I came to Canada, I was six years old, my brother was four years old. So, ah, I don't, you know. I can give you a few Chinese bloopers, <laughs> but I don't think you'd be too interested in that. However, you may be interested in this. I recently started learning about Da Vinci, uh, what is it, Da Vinci Resolve. Here, let me quickly Google it. It's right here, Da Vinci Resolve 15 by Blackmagic Design. I would like to start learning this and using it because it's apparently better than HitFilm Express and Lightwave and, well, basically any free video editor and as good as Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas. So this is their official website about DaVinci Resolve 15. They do have a commercial version called DaVinci Resolve Studio, which I will show you way down here. Wow, a lot of info about this product. Here, so the DaVinci Resolve Studio costs 309 US dollars, but this one, and I've already downloaded it. It was like a gigabyte. I haven't, in, I haven't uh, ran it yet. Oh, actually, sorry, I have ran it. Let me show it to you right now. This is a little uh, random, but here you go. This is DaVinci Resolve uh, when you first run it with nothing else. So I will try to learn this software. Would you like me to make videos as I learn DaVinci Resolve so you can learn it with me? Tell me down there in the comments below and if enough of you show interest, I'll be happy to make a series on The George Show with DaVinci Resolve how to use this software to make great videos. All right, Freedom Family, I think uh, I've done enough babbling on. I uh, hope you've enjoyed my banter. As always, leave your comments and questions down there in the comments below. I do read every single comment, and I encourage all of you to reply to comments like Musi Masta has been replying to almost every comment. I have to give him a shout out. Let me just look at my latest video here. I bet we will see Musi Masta in many replies. Let's have a look. Musi Masta, thanks for the timestamps. What did I say? It's just Jord. Feels good to be on my own AdSense. All right. And we have no Musi Masta here. Okay. Hey, Musi Masta, you're getting a, a little um, slow. How come you haven't replied in this thread? I'm kidding. Uh, Musi must have replied there. Musi must have replied, wrote a comment. Oh, and Master Audit, I have to also give you a shout out. You created very extensive comments with timestamps in the past. So I'm happy to see you here again. Um, actually, I'm curious what Is Just Jord wrote here. This is very problematic. If you're not in the Freedom Fan. Okay, this is a comment by the directors of gaming. Then you. <laughs> Oh, I remember this comment. Okay, I have to give it a shout out. If you're not in the Freedom Family, then you're against the Freedom Family. How many of you are fans of the 100? If, okay, you are Wong Crew or you are the enemy of Wong Crew, choose. 
I have to uh, play this because it's one of my favorite quotes. Oh, that's not playing. I think I got it. You Let's are hear one it. crew, or you are the enemy of one crew. Choose. Now that's one tough warrior. Does not want to be in the same room as her. That's uh, one, one of my favorite shows. Do you guys like The Hundred? Uh, I uh, I hope you do. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the new season. It's coming out, I believe, in April, which is the same time that the new Game of Thrones season eight is coming. Yes, I believe it's season eight. Both shows I'm really looking forward to watching. All right, Freedom Family. I am George, and you've been watching. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom Family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.